the kids. Uh, so as we formally begin our discussion, let us start for an opening prayer, okay? So everyone stands. Okay, and bow our heads. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. O oh, our Heavenly Father, bless us all for this another day. Give us all the knowledge and understanding in our class discussion today. Give us the wisdom we need and protect us from any harm. I know, Lord, that your plans for them are already in your hands. I believe in my students as I believe in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, class, good morning. How was your day yesterday? Seems like everyone's had fun, now. Huh? So, welcome for another day of learning. What do Henry Ford says again? Anyone who keeps on learning stays young, right? Anyone who keeps on learning stays young. So, who's excited for today's discussion? Raise your hands. Okay, I know that you are all excited for today's discussion. But before that, kindly look from your left and right and even under your seats. If there's any trash, kindly throw it at the back of our classroom. Alright. But Kyle, John, and Joey, step your proper seats. Please go back to your proper seats. Thank you. Alright. So, where's my back? Micah, do you have any absentees for today? Oh, here. So we have three absentees for today. Thank you, Micah. So, let's move on to reviewing the topic that we discussed last time. Who can still remember that, the topic that we discussed previously? Kazumi, can you still remember the topic that we discussed last time? Alright, what is it? Mm, it's about reading time. Reading time is connected with our topic for today. But before that, come and join me with a fun song. Which is, what time is it? Are you guys excited? Come and stand up. Now set at 
3.45. Can anyone tell me the interval between those times? From 2.30 to 3.45. Just guess. 22? No. Later on, you will easily understand how to determine intervals after our discussion. Don't worry. But just try, okay? Just keep on trying. So, from this 3.45 clock, I want it again at 3.30. Who could, this, who could set this clock at 3.30? Hmm? Alright, reads. Set this clock at 3.30. Alright. Thank you. Mm. I guess she made something wrong. But that's okay, Fritz. Uh, you could still correct it later. Oh no. But it's okay, Fritz. Okay? So, let, let's say that it is set at 3.30. I want it now at 3 o'clock. Who could set this at 3 o'clock? Vivian, set this clock at 3 o'clock. Just try, okay? Alright, so, thank you. Wow, Vivian got it right. So, I am happy that some of you knows how to set a time at the clock now. But so our topic today is elapsed time. So what is elapsed elapsed time? It is also known as time interval. It is the difference between two times. So in knowing elapsed time, it is determining the difference the difference between two different times. It answers how long something takes for example your homework what time have you started doing your homework and what time have you finished it and that and the interval between those two times is what you call elapsed time so here is the example kim and his mom arrive at the doctor's office at 2:05 p.m they see the doctor at 2:35 p.m how long was their wait so we have to determine here the minutes or hours of their waiting from the doctor. So I have three methods of determining the intervals. The first one is the time intervals and number lines. So you can show differences in time using number lines. Number lines are pretty simple. They are lined with thick marks. So here is the visualization of or illustration of number line so as you see the lines here the small lines here is what you call tick marks so to find the interval between two times plot them both on a number line so let's use this problem Kim and his mom when Kim and his mom arrived at the office at 2 p.m. so they arrived at 2.05 p.m. We have to plot the arrival time of Kim and his mom. So, when they see the doctor, it is already 2.35. So, we are using 5 minute take mark. So, 2.05 to 2.10 we have to jump at 2.15, 2.20, 2.25 until we reach at 2.35 p.m. So, this is the, we have to skip count by 5 minutes. So, from 2.05 to 2.35, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got 6 tick marks. So, mom, that, that, does that mean that they just waited for six minutes no because as i said earlier we use five minutes tick mark so five minutes tick mark times the six tick marks that you get 
from counting to 205 to 235. 6 times 5 is equal to 30, right? So, Kim and his mom waited for 30 minutes for the doctor. So, another method is subtracting time. Here's the example. Wait. I guess everyone here knows how to subtract, right? I'm hoping, actually. It's okay if you still don't. It can still be heard. So Chaddy and his friends decided to watch a movie. So when they start watching, the time is 8.30 a.m. So after the movie, the time was 9.48 p.m. So how long was the movie? So we have to determine here the starting, the interval between the starting time and the ending time of the movie that they watched. So they, the starting time is 8.30 a.m. and ending time is 9.48 a.m. So, how do we subtract it now? So, 9.48 a.m. We have to always um, put first the latter type. So, 9.48 a.m. minus 8.30 a.m. is equal to... Can someone answer that for me? Hmm? Any volunteer? Chini. You got 118. 118 which is correct but we have to format it in a in time format. So 118 meaning 1 hour and 18 minutes, correct? So the movie has length of 1 hour and 18 minutes. So, am I understood, class? Raise your hand if you, have, you have any questions, huh? Alright. She has some errands to do. She set an alarm for 1 hour and 45 minutes. What time will she wake up? So, we have to start by adding the minutes because we may have to regroup them into hours. So, in adding times, if we, if we can always add what type, what are the given times, because so we have to divide it or we have to regroup them. So let's start by adding the minutes. Fifteen, which which is the which I get from three fifteen p.m. when she takes a nap. We have to add fifteen plus forty five minutes. So, 15 plus 45. Hmm? Any volunteer who would add that? John? Again? Alright, 60. But what did I tell you last time? 60 minutes is, equal, is equivalent to 1 hour, right? So, we have to set it aside first. The 1 hour. Oh, remember the 1 hour, huh? So we have to add the hours. We have to add the hours. So that from three uh, three fifteen p.m. we have to get this three and one from the second alarm. So three plus one is four. Plus one five. Where did we get the one again? Right from sixty minutes earlier. So. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, Diana will wake up at exactly 5 p.m. So, so, we are through with the discussion for today. Prepare for a group activity, okay? Okay, so here's your activity for today, class. It is a group activity. I'll just explain it quickly. So, you have to group yourselves with four members. So, students will be grouped with four and the two members has to complete the table and while the other two members has to record the time interval of their two members while answering each number so for instance uh, at, so let's say that Kim and Charles started 
answering number one at exactly 9.02 a.m. and finished answering it at 9.05. So the, their time interval is three minutes. So basically the two members will jot down the interval. All right? And answer these activities as well. So that's all for today. Bye.